Hello everyone, my name is Martin Hendry from the University of Glasgow and I chair the Communications and Education Division of the LIGO Scientific Collaboration. The LSC comprises more than 1400 scientists belonging to over 100 institutions across the world. Together with our colleagues in the Virgo and CAGRA collaborations, we are at the forefront of ground-based gravitational wave astronomy, which is currently one of the most exciting fields of research in all of science. In September 2015, we made the first ever direct detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes more than a billion light years away, a discovery that was awarded the 2017 Nobel Prize for Physics. Since then, the number of gravitational wave detections has already grown to 50, and our discoveries are bringing critical new insights to cosmology, astrophysics and fundamental physics. Education and public outreach is a core part of the LSC's mission as we seek to harness gravitational waves to inspire and educate, regardless of age, culture or abode. Our strategic goals include training the next generation of scientists and increasing the general scientific literacy, as well as advocating for gravitational wave research itself, fully integrated alongside other areas of astronomy. You can read more about our mission in our EPO white paper that's available on the LIGO website. This is updated annually and the latest version reflects the rapid recent development of our field and the exciting challenges that lie ahead. Now together with Virgo and CAGRA, we oversee a vast range of EPO activities, online and face-to-face -face, with formal and informal learners focusing on both gravitational wave science and the remarkable technology that enables it. So in this short talk, I will mention just a few highlights, but several of my colleagues will go into more detail in their talks, including, for example, Livia Conti, who will showcase Virgo's outreach program. Now from 2008, our initial EPO efforts focused on large scale exhibitions, as we sought to highlight the promise of gravitational wave astronomy long before the first detections. Since then, we've shifted to creating more flexible, smaller scale exhibits, although we've continued to produce some high profile large displays, such as for the recent mega science exhibition in India. There are also exhibits and EPO facilities at our observatories, such as the LIGO Livingston Science Education Centre, and this exciting new project currently under construction, the LIGO Exploration Centre at LIGO Hanford. Now, from the outset, however, our LIGO.org website has been a major focus too. There you will find a range of visual and multimedia material, including our LIGO magazine. See, for example, the presentation by our magazine editor, Hannah Middleton, and links to the Chirp detection app, which Sam Cooper's presentation will describe. And our Gravitational Wave Open Science Centre, which I'll briefly return to later. Our website is also home to a huge variety of resources showcasing the extraordinary events we've detected. There's animations, there's sky maps, visualizations, infographics, and fact sheets. While some of these resources have been produced by professional graphic artists, many have been directly created by LIGO and Virgo scientists themselves. You can see some examples here. This real team effort has been a vital part of how we've told the story about our new field. Another flagship project has been our science summaries. These are non-technical articles that accompany every collaboration paper. They're written by the same scientists who lead the writing of the papers themselves. And they're aimed at a general audience, students, teachers, journalists, as well as other astronomers. We've produced over 140 summaries to date with their bespoke translation, another global team effort. My colleague, David Keitel, in his talk, he will describe our science summaries in more detail. Now, our social media platforms are another key activity and one in which our efforts have recently diversified. The main LIGO accounts still have the largest following, but the others are growing fast and we use coordinated cross-promotion to help amplify them. The LIGO India accounts are particularly active, for example, and these are helping to lay the, the EPO foundations for when LIGO India joins the global network of detectors later this decade. Our social media strategy can be summed up in the words of BBC founder Lord Reith, to inform, 
to educate and to entertain. Because gravitational wave astronomy is a new field, and because it's quite different from traditional astronomy with telescopes, we focused especially on how we do our science, as well as on what we've learned. And a large part of that has been about multi-messenger astronomy, searching for EM counterparts to our detections, how we do that. We also link our social media to popular culture wherever we can. For example, exploiting the widespread fascination with black holes. We recently took part in the Black Hole Week social media campaign that was led by NASA and our community's efforts to crowdsource ideas for a black hole collective noun attracted huge interest beyond just science enthusiasts. Now, most importantly, we try to use our social media to showcase the diversity of our collaborations, telling the stories of our individual scientists, their cultures and backgrounds, their passions and hobbies, what got them into science in the first place. A flagship for this is our Humans of LIGO blog, which was originally inspired by the Nobel Prize Award and the importance of showcasing the diverse global family behind the three Nobel laureates. Recently, the Humans blog has also featured artwork by LIGO student Laurence Dattrier, and the LIGO India Gravity Matters blog is finding even more ways to highlight our global and cultural diversity. Our EPO team also helps to promote the Gravitational Wave Open Science Centre, where you can download actual data from the detectors, together with tutorials and programming tools to help you analyse our detections for yourself. A key future goal is to create analysis tutorials that are suitable for high school students and teachers without requiring any prior programming experience. And we've recently made a start in this by the learning path that you can find on the GLOSS homepage. So let me wrap up my short talk by highlighting some of the challenges we faced during the pandemic, having to move so many of our activities online. While we're all itching to return to face-to-face -face EPO, we're also committed to retaining and building upon many of the online innovations that we've introduced in the past year, from webinars and introductory lectures on our YouTube channels to virtual tours of our observatories, even one created in Minecraft. So while there can of course be barriers to online participation too, our ability to reach such a diverse global audience during lockdown has encouraged us to keep exploring these new avenues and find ways to bring the excitement of our field to every corner of the globe. So five years into the new era of gravitational wave astronomy, our EPO programmes have come a long way, but we believe the best is yet to come. So to find out more or to chat about ways we might work together, please do get in touch with us and thank you very much for the invitation to present our work to CAP.